Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Um, thank you for joining another class of social media for pastors. So we're going to be talking about um, how to basically set up a platform and um, have your profile. I uh, decided to pick the two major ones um, platforms, which is Facebook and Instagram. Uh, I chose Instagram because it's the fastest growing social media platform right now. And I believe in one thing that is catching the trend when it's hot. So that's the reason why I chose Instagram and Facebook because being the number one platform right now that everybody's using, I feel it's very important that you have um, an optimized profile on Facebook. The main thing is for you to understand that when you're putting in your information, this is what helps searches so when people are searching for things if you miss those keywords you're gonna have problems so what am i trying to say say whatever you're doing whatever your ministry is about those keywords that you feel because one thing about online is you need to think like your user what would they search for those keywords must be put into your profile this is this will help when people search for those keywords on either Instagram or Facebook. If you're, so if you're dealing with Ministry of Marriages, for example, the question would be what would people normally search for? Then you're not looking at keywords that they're, they're looking about love, peace, you know, patience and all those kind of keywords. So you try to um, put your, your descriptions around those keywords. Okay. Uh, another key thing you need to understand when you're doing your profiling is Try as much as possible to make sure that your profile pictures are the same on the platforms you're using. The reason why for this, in all fairness, is just that when they see it, they know that's that's the that's the person I'm looking for. Well, that's the person I'm following on Instagram. Also, that's the him on Facebook. But when you have different pictures, sometimes you might have people using similar names as yours. Okay, so I've talked about two things: your profile pictures to be constant on your platforms and your keywords should be put into your description another thing you need to try to put is your location it's very important because you should always have a base just to recap your profile pictures try to make it constant as possible on all platforms try to put your keywords into your profile with more of your description make sure you put your location and also let your description tell people what to expect at first look we're gonna dive in we're gonna create a facebook page i believe that a lot of people have facebook profile which is fine so i don't want to really talk about that so i'll just dive into facebook page um and uh, if possible a facebook group now why do you need a facebook page one of the things in going like on future you when we're talking about advertisement you cannot advertise on your facebook profile that is why you need a Facebook page. Also, a page is seen as like a like a mini website. So a profile is just seen like you, but a page is seen like your office. Okay. A group is similar. The only difference is that a group is like an open community for people to come in and create different contribution. While a page, you're like fully in control. Remember, one of the key things I said about social media is communication, networking. So a group kind of does it better than a page because you tend to have more engagement in groups and one of the things Facebook have done lately is to change the algorithm of pages so now when you post hardly do people even though you have a lot of um, likes hardly do people get to see it because they see that the group is more effective and Facebook is trying so much not to push content that are not engaging in front of people so they tend to realize that groups are more effective or groups people everybody get to contribute and that's what facebook wants they want a situation where people are contributing so that there's interaction but they were having that problem with pages because businesses were just posting and posting and then people were complaining that things were showing on their timeline that were not relevant so as we go on i'll tell you how to help your page get the best of facebook but for now we're just going to be creating a page and a group on facebook and then we're going to link it to instagram and create an Instagram account for it. So I've picked a movement that I want to talk about. So that's what we're gonna be using. So I've decided to use my phone this time around 
because I know that a lot of you use your phone for things like this so this is my phone screen so whatever you see you see it the same way that you have it on your phone it's very important that I go an extra mile to show you through the phone version and also going on I'll be doing a lot of my explanation using the phone this is my own personal profile okay so let's create a page then you come down to pages if you don't have any uh, pages since you're new it will just show you this page and then this create button so you do create click on get started okay so now it's asking you for your page name so we're gonna call it because I have two two one so two two one go to next so that's going to choose category with the people we we'll just do public figure here yeah? because most of you would probably create a page for yourself or for your ministry so public figure the next is asking about the website which is optional so you can skip it okay so at this stage is asking us to create the profile we can skip it and do that later on but I think it's advisable we just do it as we're going okay so here you put your profile okay so create profile click on add profile picture ask you if you want to allow no, this is a profile picture done and that's it save it it's asking us to add a cover picture so for Facebook you have both the profile picture and the cover picture that you have to create okay so we'll do that one as well we'll add that I already created this covers and the picture because of time um, I will show you in the next class on how to create simple simple things like this then we click on visit page all right and this is our page already created now what we're gonna do is um, update our profile okay because we have our pictures and everything but we need to have more things so we'll go into about so under about then we do edit page page information all right so this is where we add more information just like we've done before the public figure our name um, we can add location remember so put location here we'll put location here so city about here no number then save all right well you don't need a strict name but if you have one that you want to put you can always put a strict name and don't put the full address but you don't need it available hours always very important you're not permanently open so it's advisable that you put put in timing that people know that you're there so i'll just go with the standard hours 9 to 5 pm you can always adjust it more than that in order to adjust it you click on edit and then you you follow suits but i'll just go with the standard oh, okay let's say we let's edit to show you an example um so monday we click on monday 5 to Tuesday 5 to Wednesday Thursday and let's say Friday we want to go longer so you click on that 5 to 7 p.m. so that's okay and then let's say we're doing this one as same time and Sunday we're closed okay so you do that and then you save so that's your hour saved so you come to add description this is where you put all the information about your page right it says you can write a short summary about this page you paste it okay because this is the short one so i'm just going to summarize just leave it at the question mark part to get people to ask questions and let's save so that's saved okay so and that's it we've done the basic information you can always add a button okay so this button is what I call call to action plus maybe you want them to be sending you messages so you just put send me a message 
and then that changes from send message all right okay so that's it so we've created that already very straightforward like i said if you want to add more information you go to your about if you want to see how people would view your your page click on view as so this is what happens so if they need to send you a message they can send you a message this is your banner bold enough for them to know you know we strengthen one another and um, your profile is also there so they get to see what you're all about basically all right so that's our page created and we can create a group from here as well so you just switch group there's so many things so let's create a group so depending on what you're looking for uh, we'll make this one public name of our group is two to one all right and um yep so we create a group that's our group created already and then you can start inviting friends by clicking on this invite button invite people from your group of friends you know once you click on the invite all these names pop up and you can just start inviting people you can search by name to invite let me just invite my wife so yeah so you do that to invite people to the group and the same way you can invite them to like the page okay so um, then it gives you one good thing about Facebook is this it gives you different things on how to grow your your page on how to what to do next so try as much as possible to follow the instructions so it says help grow this group by inviting friends which is what i said invite friends so you start by inviting people that you know people that you feel should be in the group also one more thing in order for people to find you you see this great page username very important you do that as well which is basically so we could say two two four two to one movement so it makes it easier when people are searching for you so you have to do this as well so and also when you're sharing the link all you just need to do is oh facebook.com slash two to one movement or a mobile version is fb.me slash two to one movement so that way it just makes it easy for people to um, find you on, on time so here's us we're going to be creating our instagram account okay so we'll do sign up by email and so you can always um, if you want to register your instagram account by phone number that's fine or you can use email address as well so we'll use that for our instagram click on next ask you for the name so this is welcome next it's in another okay um is asking if you want it to connect to facebook to find friends for you so now this is very good and important if this in case i'm gonna skip it but you shouldn't skip it connect it to your facebook because this will connect to your facebook profile so that it will tell you your friends that are on facebook already skip so you're asking to add picture and i'll just take from library which is my phone so we used that's what we used so well, of course like i said we still have to complete the profile get started okay so he's asking to switch to professional account so what instagram does is instead of like on facebook where you have your profile and then you have your page you, you just create one account then you decide if you're doing profile or page remember like i said you cannot promote on prof normal profile so it's advisable we switch to professional accounts so it's asking are we uh, creators or are we businesses but in this case we are creators basically and then yep let's figure okay. this is our simple category i think we used um public figure for the last one on facebook so we'll just use public figure again public figure next so we we'll just click next um we'll put the email address that we use to sign, sign up we'll create our account is ready and that's it so we have it all ready okay so we'll come to our bio 
we'll paste it I'll change this one a little bit because of Facebook Instagram you need it to be um, a bit different just trying to make sure it fit in okay and that's it that's all by it website and then um, yep so it's a car is a public figure car is based in UK but open to all before what we do and we have our email address they can contact us and all you need to do is just start following people with added profile you can turn our first post and you can just start following people okay and that's it that has been linked we've created our facebook and we've created our instagram account and all has been linked all right so our next class we'll be talking about content posting content how to post content and so on all right thank you for watching again god bless